Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and welcome back to a brand new video on the Pixels 23 channel and this time around I thought we'd do another instalment in our transmog farming series in which we visit a different instance each time around and we do 50 runs in that instance and we take a look at the kind of loot that we got from those 50 runs and so this time around it's going to be strat home live because i'm sure that most of you who play wow are aware that strat home is divided into two sections uh, some people call it like the live and undead sections so we're going to do live in this video we're going to be on the live side and uh, we're going to do full clears guys and this that you see on the screen right now is actually my 50th and final run so i recorded that for you all and I've sped it up a little bit so we get through it a little bit quicker but it's just to show you the actual route that I take it's a really really easy run it's just like you go around in a big circular motion and then head inside uh, to actually kill the living mobs so yeah this is just to give you guys an idea of the run itself as I say and then after we've done this I will go ahead and uh, show you all of the loot that we got from the 50 runs guys and I'm going to split it down into 10 run sections so I'm going to show you the loot from the first 10 runs and then the next 10 runs and so on and so forth so I will just let this run actually finish and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the loot Okay, so here is the last boss. Uh, we're actually running back now because there are some packs that kind of spawn once you've killed him. And they do drop greens and blues. I'm speaking from experience, so be sure to actually kill those. And uh, once we've done that, we can just head back out and we're now going to go and clear the last few mobs that are remaining in the instance. And then we're going to head out. As you can see, I do use my uh, dash here to get underneath that gate. Otherwise, you have to stay there for a little bit of time and uh, clear a few waves of rats so that's not ideal but I managed to get through there so there we go that is all done guys and now we're going to head out and I will go ahead and show you uh, the loot that we got from our first 10 runs in Strat Home Live but before I do that just in case you don't actually know where this instance is um, it's in the north of the Eastern Plaguelands as you can see on the map there so there we go that is our 50th run done so that is all the runs done guys and now as I said we're going to travel back in time and uh, we're going to go through the loot bit by bit. I'm actually going to show you all of it guys so this video might be a bit longer than the past ones but I thought it was worth it. There are actually some nice greens and uh, I actually have a few examples of some stuff that's sold too so that will be at the end of the video but for now let's take a look at the loot. Okay guys here we are so we've just done 10 runs in Strat Home Live and here is the loot that we've got. Um, I've kept pretty much all the greens this time. I know in the last video in this series um, I only kept a couple of examples for you guys and um, that was because they were just really really low valued items and this time around a few of them are a little more pricey I would say and uh, actually all of the greens that you can see here are actually different. There are no duplicates here. I've actually just sold a few of the duplicates because uh, they're easily farmed. So without further ado guys, what do you say we take a look at the loot that we got from 10 runs in Strat Home Live and then we'll go ahead and do runs 11 to 20. So as you can see we've got some uh, nice cloth here, quite a lot of mage weave and some silk as well as some room cloth so that's pretty nice. Um, we also got a traveller's backpack which I know is like no amazing feat but as I said last time around I do give you guys or I do like to give you guys a good idea of uh, the general loot that you can expect so we've got some uh, reagents here and fell cloth there guys I don't think I've seen a piece of fell cloth drop in quite a while so uh, it was kind of like nostalgic to see one of those drops I remember like farming those so so much back in uh, Burning Crusade I think uh, with my uh, warlock who was the tailor at the time so yeah 
uh, you know, some stuff like Aquamarine and Star Ruby and Citrine and stuff like that. And uh, you also get these Righteous Orbs, which are pretty nice and they are uh, part of an enchant, I believe. I don't think it's like a current enchant or anything like that, um, but it's kind of like an added bonus of uh, running Strat Home Live. Um, so that's those, and we've got a little bit of leather too. Now guys, this is a bit that I was like kind of excited about, because we got quite a few uh, recipes and plans uh, last time around in uh, Shadow Fan Keep, but these ones that seem to be dropping in Strat Home Live uh, do seem to hold a much bigger price tag than those previously, uh, so let's take a look at these right now. Uh, so we've got the Voice Amplification Modulator. So that's got a pretty nice price tag too. Again, they're not a great sell rate. This one is 0 0.01 on TSM, but you never know, guys. Uh, but it is nice to see um, some nice prices, you know, not just like 300 gold uh, for a recipe or anything like that, such as that one, you know, Enchant Bracer Superior Versatility. So that's not like massively priced. Uh, enchant Two-Handed Weapon Major Intellect. But guys, we're getting into them soon. Uh, we've got the Dazzling Mithril Reaper there. Um, invisibility Potion. So that's like six, maybe five, six K. That could be pretty nice. Uh, a Parachute Cloak, which I don't actually have myself. Uh, but we'll see about selling that. That's two to three K apparently. Um, again, similar price, similar price for Dazzling Mithril Reaper. And then we have the Flask of Distilled Wisdom. And that increases intellect by 52 for one hour. Uh, counts as both a battle and guardian elixir. Okay, so I've got that. And then we've got big voodoo robe, which is not a hugely priced item. I did check the item that you can make, you know, the actual robe itself. And that doesn't sell for a massive price. So I'll probably just stick to selling the actual pattern for that one. Uh, then we've got the schematic for Ultra Flash Shadow Reflector. And that does hold a pretty nice price, guys. Look at that. And uh, this one reflects shadow spells back at their caster for five seconds. So I suppose that could be pretty handy in, like, PvP, maybe? Something like that? Who knows? Um, then we've got Mithril Heavy Boar Rifle. That's only, like, a K or so. And then we have uh, two patterns for True Faith Vestments. And that can only be made by priests, I believe. So those are the recipes. I know they're like, like not massively, they're not like worth half a million gold or anything like that, but they are definitely an improvement on last time around. So let's just take a quick look at the greens. Um, I'll just skip through them so you guys can have a look. And um, you can take a look at the prices too. that are listed there for TSM. Again, these are like massively priced items, but we'll just throw them on there anyway. Look, we've got like two to four K there, so who knows? We might sell a few of them guys and I currently have the items that we got from Shadow Fan Keep on the auction house right now and uh, I'll be selling these ones straight after I've done this little clip here and then I'll be heading back to Strat Home. So I'll have like Strat Home and Shadow Fan Keep loot going at the same time on the auction house and then my plan is to make like a further video and we'll go over the gold that we've made from both of those instances. So I'm just going through the actual uh, chest pieces right now. Miscape robe. I mean, we should probably take a look at a few of them, but again, um, if you are interested in any of them, at least you know the, um, yeah, I've got all my armor on there, sorry about that. Uh, at least you know the name of them, guys, so you can easily look them up online if you're, if you're really interested in it. Um, but yeah, so here are the shoulders. Again, so every item is different, I believe, unless I miss some. Uh, Valorous Helm. Warmonger's Circlet. And then we've got the weapons. Um, some not great ones, but these ones are pretty cool. Look, they have a nice price. Uh, they've got like a market value of 16k, and these are the Gossamer Rods of the Aurora, and again of the Aurora. But they're pretty cool, guys. Look at that. Just like running around like a little Harry Potter or something like that. But yeah, so that's pretty cool, guys. I'm hoping that they'll actually sell. Um, yeah, I haven't collected that appearance. So worst comes to the worst. If we can't sell them after a long period of time, I could just uh, learn that. And uh, who knows, <laughs> like, it'll be of use for some kind of transmog in the future, some kind of funny video, who knows. Uh, so that's that, and then I'll just go through the rest of them now. These aren't amazing or anything, but I thought this time around we'll just try and actually sell everything rather than, um, you know, just vendoring most things because we think who the hell would buy that, but who knows. But anyway, guys, we did get one rare drop, and it wasn't a blue, it was actually a purple, and it is the Black Skull Shield. How about that? Um, so that's not too bad. Again, it's uh, looking at it's going to be around 7k or something like that on the auction house. But 
Uh, there it is. So I guess it's like a little bit like the um, Flame Skull Shield, but this one is the Black Skull Shield, I guess. Who knows? But there we go. So that is our loot from 10 runs in Strat Home Live. So I don't think that's really, really bad, guys, to be fair. Uh, considering all the loot that we've got right there. So I'm going to go and throw these on the auction house right now, and then I'll be back with uh, the loot from runs 11 to 20. Okay, BRB. Okay, and now we are on to runs 21 to 30, guys. So here are the loot from those 10 runs. So here we have the usual reagents or mats or whatever the hell uh, that we get every time around, but they are nice to have and they always sell and on to the plans and recipes. A flask of distilled wisdom, a ruby serpent, which doesn't sell for a huge price, but I don't think I've seen that one before. Parachute cloak, which is worth a few K, and does have a nice sell rate, as you can see on TSM there. Uh, again, voice amplification modifier, whatever the hell it's called. A ultra flash shadow reflector. That does say that it sells for a huge amount, but we do get a few of those uh, in this video. Uh, Elixir of Giants, uh, Two-Handed Weapon, Major Intellect, that is probably the most common enchant that I actually got during my 50 runs, I think, um, well I don't even want to guess how many I got, but look at that guy's riding skill, and it says that does sell for a very, very nice amount, although the sell rate is not great, but hopefully we could sell that, and another Major Intellect right there. So we are on to the weapons now. And again, I'll just go through these so you guys can take a look. I'm not going to like show you them, uh, what they actually look like, just in case you see any items on here. Then you maybe you'll see a price and you'll think, wow, that's actually worth a decent amount of gold. Uh, then you can just like look at the name and you can put it in Wowhead. And uh, you could just do it that way, I guess, if there's like any items uh, that take your fancy. But I did want to show you this one. That is really, really cool. That's the Regal Star. And uh, just look at that, guys. Oh, the Royal Star. One of the two. I can't remember. As I said, I'm doing this voiceover uh, post-video. Um, but that is a pretty nice item uh, to have. Now we're on to the boots. As you can see, I've put all of these into uh, order. So, like, you know, all of the uh, boots with the boots and all of the gloves are with the gloves. Just to make it nice and easy for you all. Just in case, like I say, you want to go ahead and check any of these items out. And as we break down these uh, little 10 run loot slots, I guess, whatever the hell you want to call it, I'm sure we'll uh, come upon some duplicates here and there, some items that we've got previously. Um, but what the hell, guys, I'm going to put most of them up on the auction house, but if we do have, like, a lot of duplicates, then, then I will just go ahead and uh, probably just vendor them. But it is nice to get, like, uh, an idea of the items that you're going to be looking at if you are planning on doing some farms in Strathome. Again, we're just showing you an item there. So that's a belt that must be worth quite a bit. I can't actually remember what it was there. I was too busy talking. So yeah, Hibernal Robe. That's like got a crazy price, but that's just probably somebody's inflated price on the auction house there. So I wouldn't uh, trust that one too much. Uh, the Chieftain's Headdress, that is pretty nice, but again, not a huge sell rate. Well, a, a decent sell rate, but not a huge sell price. Uh, but nevertheless, we've got one of those, so we've got Hibernal Cowl. Um, Myrmidon's Helm. And as for the rares, we got a couple of Plans of Blight. Which, did we get one of those previously? Again, I'm doing these uh, 10 by 10 remember, so uh, my memory is not the greatest. But we've got a couple of those, and I just got so many of those in that instance, guys. I just vendored, um, I think, at least three of them, just because you just can't get rid of them. So that's not like a great drop whatsoever. Uh, but for rare items, we've got Bone Chewer, which, as you can see, is not a highly priced item at all. But it's a rare item, and that is part of what this whole series is about. It's not like a gold guide or anything, it's just to see if we can get some cool stuff. Uh, some rare stuff that you don't see very often at all. And it's just nice to get them, guys, you know? So I've got the Ardent uh, Custodian there, and uh, that's got a bit of a better sell price, don't you think? So we did get a nice purple there too, so we've got a purple for each of our 10 sets of runs. 
it's not the greatest looking item in the world but it is a rare well drop so look at that very very nice to end runs 11 at 220 so there we go guys okay it's time for runs 21 to 30 guys here we go once again so the usual mats down here lots of major cloth and uh, some silk room cloth big voodoo pants again voice amplification modulator uh, the aquamarine wand another shadow reflector and another flask of distilled wisdom so some of these do have a nice price but uh, just us ourselves we've at least uh, farmed two or three of them so they may not be the easiest things to shift on the auction house so anyway onto the weapons just go through these now to give you all a look uh, so I just I'll just tell you now guys at the, at the end of the video there will be some uh, clips of me opening up some mail and receiving gold from the auction house and uh, that is made up of loot that we did from last time where we went to Shadowfan Keep and also this loot because uh, I haven't been that active on WoW uh, so I've only really just started to uh, auction them off uh, so the prices that you'll see are the gold that we've made at the end of uh, the video was basically done through one whole 24 hour auction I want to say with one intermittent uh, cancel scan in between so I posted them and then maybe 12 or so hours later I did a cancel scan to see if I'd been undercut and then relisted those items and I think we made roughly about 25 to 30k and that was just over like like I say one set of auctions and I think that's actually my best from selling transmog because transmog does not sell overnight and um, I do play on a medium population server it was like pretty much a low server till recently and then it became medium um, so there aren't that many people around uh, but still but yeah it was pretty cool uh, I know some people are making like millions but this series is just meant as a true representation of someone trying to sell transmog um, on their own server I guess and uh, it's not a gold guide as I said it's more about just to see if we can unearth any cool items in game and uh, if some of them are actually worth a lot of gold then that's like a huge bonus um, but yeah it's not called like a gold guide it's called a transmog farming guide and I just like to give you all a nice view of the types of items that you can get so like I say I know this might be a longer video um, but you are seeing all of the items and you'll see all of the names and you can go and check them out if you so wish so I'll stop rambling about that stuff now as we're nearing the rare items that we got but they look valorous uh, pauldrons so we did get some cool items guys some nice helms too the black forge cowl uh, the heraldic headpiece the regal wizard hat which is really really cool and I kind of want to keep that one I don't think I've got that and uh, my mage basically has like a Jaina transmog which has like a lot of purple on it so uh, maybe that I'll uh, use that hat with that transmog sometime on my mage who knows um, but anyway on to the rares now so we've got plans for heart seeker I'm not sure how many we've got that's two at least right there yeah and then we got the pattern for true faith vestments which again drops from the final boss and would you believe it some more plans for blight so as you can see guys those plans are not that rare at all um, we got a cape got the black flame cape which is not worth a huge amount of gold but there it is just for you all to have a quick look at and then we got gut ripper which is a nice purple uh, dagger again it is not the most aesthetically pleasing but it is a rare will drop or dungeon drop I'm not sure I think it's a will drop uh, and again the black skull shield guys so we've got two of those um, I'm guessing that's not that common a drop so it was pretty lucky I guess to get two of those it is worth a nice price but I'm not overly sure if we'll shift it or not but there's only one way to find out and that's to put it on the auction house okay runs 31 to 40 and I don't need to tell you guys we've got a first backpack full of mats and reagents and things of that nature that goes without saying so as usual the plans and recipes not that many this time around and a lot of two-hander major intellect so I think most of those got vended uh, again distilled wisdom 
and a shadow reflector so you can kind of see the patterns that you can expect to get if you run through strat home and with the greens you can see we're ranging from like 200 gold up to well look at that one that's supposedly around 30k but um, a lot of these are inflated prices sometimes uh, but you never know guys sometimes you strike it lucky and usually it's items that you don't expect to sell that actually end up selling and you will see that in the end of this video with a couple of items that I just wasn't expecting would sell at all um, but they did so that's just how it goes sometimes But the thing is, especially with the rare items, is uh, they're rare rights, so you might have a rare item, and even though it's not the best looking item, it might be unique in its appearance, and uh, you've got the item, and there might be somebody out there who's like a completionist, and just wants every appearance that they can get their hands on, or every appearance that's even in game, and uh, they might be after that one thing that you've actually got. So uh, even though it's not like, you know, a big dazzling, uh, sparkling axe of amazement it's just like a little guillotine axe as I've got on the auction house right now um, you know somebody might just buy it because they actually really want that appearance and uh, they want that in their collection it's just like anything in life I guess somebody wants something and you've got it and how much are they willing to pay and that's why sometimes these prices can go pretty much insane um, but yeah like you know the glorious leg plates they're a green item but uh, back in the day when people were farming their uh, anchorage uh, they were like 300k or something crazy like that it was insane although they are a bit more uh, common nowadays so anyway we're getting up to the rare items and can you guess what these two plans are here guys can you guess can you guess yes it's blight once again look at that we've got more blight plans a couple of those so they can go straight to the vendor uh, so here are the rares that we got. We got the Wand of Elastage, I think it's called, something like that, Elastage. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm also uh, watching this video back from my editing suite, so it's not like full screen or anything. <laughs> so uh, a couple of the names have been uh, pretty hard to read. Uh, but we've got the Edgemaster's Handguards too, guys. And uh, that's supposedly around 8k, but... They do look really, really nice though. I have to say, I do like those gloves. And uh, if they don't sell, I will happily keep those. And that's another great thing about doing this, you know. It's not always about the gold. Sometimes you just get some really, really cool items uh, for your main character that you just didn't have before. And, uh, you know, if you're into transmog, you can, like, work a whole new transmog out of it. So uh, there are, there's always a silver lining, guys. Uh, but there we go. And there's the one too, by the way. There's a quick look at that. So there we go, guys. Okay, we have made it, and now we are on to our last 10 runs. Yes, this is runs uh, 41 to 50, guys. This is our last 10 runs in Strat Home Live. I won't go over all of the mats. So, uh, we've got plans, blue glittering ats, radiant breastplate, uh, golden hair, mithril spears. Uh, again, major intellect on the two-hander there. Elixir of Giants and Blue Glittering Axe again, which is worth a couple of K apparently, uh, but we'll see about that. But yeah, I just do want to reiterate, I guess, that this is not a gold guide at all, guys. Uh, this is just uh, an experiment, I guess. Well, not even an experiment. It's just I like to farm. You know, some people, I guess, just like farming, even though it seems like a crazy thing to do to other people. Uh, but the promise of rare loot is just too much for some of us to resist, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I just do it to basically show you, you know, like I said before, a true example of uh, loot that you can expect from running an instance 50 times over. I know some people on YouTube do like 100 runs. Um, I know that's like a huge, huge amount of runs and it is a big investment. Even 50 runs is a big investment. And uh, in some instances, it can be really, really draining, especially if they're long instances. Because uh, I usually do full clears. Uh, but Strat Home Live was like really, really linear and it was over super quick and I do highly recommend it um, if you're after some of these items that you see here. And uh, who knows, you might make a bit of gold. As I said, we've made around 25k I think, maybe just a bit more up to now. There are some more things that have currently sold on the auction house. Maybe I'll like record that and put that in the video too. Uh, but after this I will show you, like I said, a couple of clips 
of me opening some gold on the auction house. I think it's about 22k that you see me opening up, but you will see some of the items that I actually sold. So anyway, we're on to rings now. Uh, they're not huge sellers as uh, the same can be said for necklaces. Uh, braces aren't that great either, by the way. Um, but some weapons are pretty cool. Some of them sell pretty well. Um, I've had pretty much most luck with weapons, I think. But you can see a few of them there. And most of them uh, range around the 1,000 gold mark. Just shy or just over. But if you do get a few of them sold, they do add up quickly. And that's the main thing. You're in transmog selling for the long haul. So it's not like about making gold overnight. Unless, like I say, you get that magical item that uh, you're, you've been looking for. And as for our rare items, we got the Ank of Life which is a trinket, again, heal your target for 29, so that is not going to be a big seller whatsoever. I'm not even sure about putting that on the AH, but it is a cool thing just to get a rare item like that. And then we've got the Ring of Saviors, so again, this is not a perfect item to have dropped uh, to be selling. But anyway, that is our 50 runs, guys, and as I said, I've gone over all of those items for you there, so you can look any of them up if uh, you fancy farming them for yourselves. So thank you for watching this video, I really really do appreciate it and I'll be back very very soon with some more World of Warcraft content and I'll just end the video with a little shot, as I said, of me opening up some gold just to show you the items that people have actually snatched up. So until next time, do take care guys, behave, and as always, bye for now.